Hello everybody, this is the Planes Paper. Welcome back to, well, this is actually Vanilla Minecraft, running 1.5.1. .1, and I've been experimenting with the new redstone features added. Um, basically this is a... It's, it's kind of a T-flip-flop, so it'll toggle. I call it memory cell because you can store a byte of data and toggle it on and off. And these are good in many applications. If you look at my other redstone videos, I use the T flip flop. But I thought there would be a much more compact and a much simpler way to make it with the new redstone blocks and comparators. Now over here is my bigger sort of test version, and it's kind of easier to explain with. If I push this button, that block will toggle. Oh. Let me give it a sec. There we go. And it'll toggle the output on and off, I think, without fail. It's got to be without fail. It looks to be without fail. Now, this is where I'm having the output. It comes through the middle here. And, oh, let's change it to day. Here we go, here we go. So we've got a toggling, this is the output over here. Basically what happens is, in in this state, power is coming from the redstone block and it's coming over here and it's going to this comparator. So it's saying, um, in this state, this piston cannot be pushed because the signal here is stronger than the signal back here. So the piston can't push out here. But it's also saying because there's no power into there, um, that piston can move. Which means if power is applied, uh, the piston will push it over, and then it just swaps around. So that means um, this way around, this one can't go because it's powered from here. And if we push the thing, the other one doesn't have power into there, so it will move. The only issue is you have to use a, I think it's got a two pulse limiter. Otherwise, what you're going to have is the, if I get rid of it, if I just power it like here um, with a button, it'll go twice sometimes because it changes state, then changes state again. The other way to solve that would be to, I think, I didn't think of this. This is actually a good idea. Um, it would make the cell a lot slower there. This is the only issue. Oh no, it doesn't solve the problem. Yeah, I it, personally I would use a two pulse limiter. And over here I just made it a lot smaller. And as you see it does work in the same way. And we have our output over here. I input here. And we could make it smaller still, but I'll leave that to you guys. And thank you for watching. If you want to use this, then sure, go ahead.